On the left are the three layers of the spiking neural network that is used to control the robot simulation on the right. At the beginning, the robot learns to move forward trying random movements that are rewarded or punished by a feedback function. Very soon the robot runs straight forward towards an obstacle, while the axons that are responsible for that movement are strengthened, which is shown by thicker lines. When the robot is very close to an obstacle, or when it actually crashes into one, the currently perceived situation is remembered in new neurons. Several neurons are created to store different input combinations of the sonar sensors. The robot tries to move away from the obstacle with new random movements. In this example run, also the final situation when the robot turned away from the obstacle already was stored in a new neuron. That neuron is still active when the robot runs forward again until the sonars perceive another obstacle. The neural network adds new neurons for unknown situations that produce f negative feedback. With increasing time, also earlier created neurons are activated again and their connections are trained as long as the robot remains in the same situation. Here the robot turns away from one obstacle as learned earlier at another place, but unfortunately crashes into the next one. <laughs> 